Hey guys, this is Dylan here, and this is just kind of a different video. Um, so this is a program called Vectory. Um, it is a 3D printing site, uh, what uh, what have you. Um, it's kind of like a different thing. Um, let me just close this because it's acting a little bit slow. Close my Spotify. Uh, yeah, there we go. All right. So, anyways, this is the kind of the 3D printing site. So. I'm kind of be uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a uh, just basic tools. Um, now there, make sure before you do anything that I'm doing, you go here if you already know what the site is, uh, or if you don't and you're watching this video, you should check it out. Just type in Vectory and come here, log in or create create your account rather. Um, so this is Help Center over here. You want to click that and you want to go step by step tutorials, and yeah, so it'll. I'll, I'll just show you so it'll show you uh, kind of things how to rotate all that good good stuff how to move all that stuff so I already know how to do all the basic stuff um, so yeah um, make sure you do take this tutorial if you really want to know how to you know do this so yeah uh, today uh, I'm just gonna be making a few shapes so uh, let's say you want to make a bowl um, you would take a box you would draw it you would lift it and then you'd have your box, right? Um, so yeah, once you have your box, you go select faces, uh, you'd select the top, you'd hit backspace, which will actually delete it and it'll look like a box. Um, then what you would do is you would turn on smoothing. So now it kind of looks like a, a demented bowl. Um, so what you want to do after that is you want to go on, um, I guess, uh, select faces maybe? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you want to go on select faces. Yeah, select faces, selections, jog, select all, hit E for a shortcut, or see this button over here, extrude. Um, then you select one of the arrows that you, one of the blue arrows that you see, and you can adjust the thickness of your bowl. You definitely don't want it like that. I'm going to make it like that. So, uh, just click away on a blank side. And you can apply whatever color you want on the color picker. I'm just going to make it bright red. Yeah. Alright, so there's your basic bowl. Um, that's kind of cool how, you, how it all goes together. Um, I would say, now most people would probably use a sphere. Um, but definitely do not use a box. Boxes are way easier. It's just because smoothing turns them into almost a sphere looking thing. So yeah, there's just a basic um, bowl. Not, nothing really special uh, so let me just delete it all right so now we're just gonna make uh, I'm gonna show you a cool way that you could make a ring if you wanted to so you just take a uh, draw tube you kind of make how uh, long you want it how thick you want it we're just gonna make it like that how much you want it popped out I'm just gonna make it like that all right there you go so now there's your ring now it's kind of easy because I had smoothing so that this is what you'd have you'd have it on this you turn on smoothing then you turn on your color now if you want to make it look better and make it look like gold you would go to the kind of right about here yeah I guess that kind of looks like gold so yeah there, there's your gold ring <laughs> uh, it's kind of cool because watch this um, you can actually turn this into different things so See this that I just selected if I hit backspace uh, it's kind of it's kind of cool actually it makes like a little tunnel I'll delete this side and as you can see it's almost like it, it's really really cool I actually I really like this program in the past couple of days I'm playing around with it and I'm having a lot of fun with it um, but here let me go back I'll go undo up here undo is a really good button so let's say I make a mistake over here um, and I just I'm not I'm not liking what I just did hit undo to go back to where you were so that way you can redo what you Had messed up and do it the way you actually want to so anyways um, There's different stuff you can do like um, I'm gonna take I'm, I'm just gonna delete this um, So that's the ring Oops, select all, all right, so uh, You could do this one so right click is panning um, So you go here you could draw a sphere and when you draw a sphere um, you can kind of see it's kind of cool um, so it'll come out like this that's kind of not how I want it we'll go back to now you can see down here where my cursor is there's wired 
shaded and textured now textured is yours like how you want it shaded uh, it kind of helps you just understand the things uh wired is easy but you would kind of want to start with shaded you can hit space to change them um but now watch this so i have my uh, let me just turn it and turn smoothing off uh it doesn't really matter it's still a ball so now watch this uh i'm gonna go select faces now you select let's say i want to just delete the top part of it you hit backspace it deletes a hole into the top uh that's kind of cool you could, you know there uh if you made the see-through like a kind of like a see-through i don't know something whatever um you could actually make it like a lamp or something um so that's kind of cool if you wanted to um but you just got to find the right texture really um so yeah and then i'll turn on smoothing again and yeah it doesn't really do anything special but whatever um so yeah i'll just keep deleting around it and it's kind of cool how it all works um so yeah just oh didn't mean to do that uh you'll notice all these arrows um yeah so there we go oh i, I forgot this one all right so yeah just click wherever you want now it's kind of like a demented bucket bowl kind of thing i don't know um so yeah there you go um oh yeah there's the grid if you wanted to just go select faces select all move this up all right so yeah now i'm going to show you how all these weird arrows here so you'll you'll see this and you'll see this ro this green thing uh it's not always green on everything but it's rotate so if i wanted to rotate around uh it kind of does that um so if I want to rotate this way, if I want to, there's actually one more. It's just rotating around like this. So those are the rotating uh, scale. It kind of stretches it or shrink it. Whoa, that's cool. Shrinks it, you know. And there's the arrow like that just moves it. There's a move over here. There's a move. Actually, no, there's not a move on this side. But you can always, you know, use the, you can use the white dot in the middle to move too. Um, so and then scale is kind of cool because scale is different so this is a different scale that makes it bigger uh like just the whole thing this one makes it longer or shorter this one is kind of cool because it makes it bigger but in a diagonal way this one kind of makes it bigger in a different way so they all they all make it bigger or see like this wider they all make it different it's kind of it's really cool how it all just works it's kind of nice and easy when you get used to it that kind of stretches it out that way yeah so yeah this is pretty awesome it stretches it out um so those are how you use all these weird arrows if you're wondering what they are um so yeah let me just delete this i'm gonna do one more um so here this right here um so let's say you want to make a pop can make it how wide you want make it how tall you want um, so we're just gonna do there you can actually make it taller if you can't make it that tall don't worry now it looks like a rock we're just gonna turn smoothing off so now what you would do is you would select faces um, so yeah we're gonna select all the top here so you do it like this uh, it's kind of the same color so it's kind of hard to see I'll just go back on purple so yeah now you can see it is kind of just selecting all of the faces i don't know why it all counts uh why it doesn't all count as one i think it's just parts that make it easier so then you would uh want to hit once you have all the top selected you hit e on your keyboard or extrude over here uh and then you'll see an arrow lift it up uh let me just lift it up a little bit more extrude and yeah uh, that's kind of a long pop can but whatever um i should have kept selecting that because now i have to uh now i i, I kind of want to delete the top so but i first started like three three or two days ago on this and i'm not i wasn't very good at it but now i'm a little bit better uh and you got you all of you guys will get better as time comes um so yeah see it's kind of like a pop can uh, there are other ones out there. This is just Vectory. Uh, there is another one that's not it's not towards 3d printing like this one um, But this one this one's just mainly 3d printing. There's another one that's sketch up and it's it's kind of like an art thing um, I'll show that in another video um, But yeah, so this is just the thing 
we're gonna go select all delete uh, I'm just gonna do one more cool thing that you can do um, so this one it's kind of I'm just gonna add a cylinder a normal cylinder this is kind of cool how you can do this um, so you see this point here like I'm just gonna move it around a little bit it's kind of cool you can rotate it <laughs> it doesn't really matter if you rotate it uh, so we're just gonna leave it like that a little bit of everything <laughs> Oh yeah, that, that's also cool that you can do. See, now it almost looks like a cartoon. It's kind of cool how you do that, but uh, yeah, so I'm probably, yeah, I'm about done now. Um, I'll show more in another video on how to use this lovely program called Vectory. Um, so yeah, I'll actually show you a few of my projects. Um, so we'll just go exit, go back to platform, don't save and leave. It actually might be saved. Yeah, it will be. I'll just have to delete that when I go to my dashboard. Uh, I'm signed into here. Um, these are this is uh, a few of the things I made. So let me delete the one that I was just playing around with. Yes, and so yeah, I made a sh strawberry looking thing, a cup, and a ring, a gold ring or whatever. Um, but I also made this. Um, now hats. They're not the easiest thing to make in Vectory. You kind of have to put them together like I did. Now, you might not think it's a hat, but I'll show you what I did. Um, I could show you how to make another hat in another video. Um, so I'll just go to select face so you can see. I just drew a square and I just made it the slimmest I could. And I put it on the end of an upside down bowl. So yeah, see how it's kind of weirdly connected in there. Uh, if I wanted to, I could actually maybe delete that side, but I don't want to mess around with it too much. So yeah, uh, I'm just going to change it. I mean, blue is awesome. All colors are awesome. Let's change it to a nice fluorescent pink. You know what? No, we'll, we'll change it to, how about light blue? Or no, green, green, red, orange. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's just do green. So yeah, green hat is pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, this is awesome. This is just a basic video. Um, so yeah, it's pretty awesome. This program, I I would definitely recommend it. Uh, oh, I didn't mean it. I forgot to hit save. So we'll go save and leave. And bam. Uh, now when I reload the page, it should be green. Or just a bowl yeah it'll look like that don't when it when it's like that it doesn't mean it's broken or anything like that it's perfectly fine um, so yeah that's about it for this video um, you gotta make sure uh, I mean this face let's face it guys this is all cool um, cool stuff uh, now when I first started I didn't I didn't think I was gonna get to as close to this stuff but I am here now um, so you guys make sure you leave a like make sure you subscribe and i'm out see ya peeps bye have a beautiful time can anybody out there hear me hear me